Hi there. I illustrated this children's book and I wanted to share it with you today. It's called Big Shot Slingshot. And it's written by Brett Blair, illustrated by James Koenig. That's me. It's the story of David and Goliath. Let's get started. Here's David. Looks like he was doing a little target practice with his rocks. Breaking these pots here. Uh-oh. Big Shot Slingshot. David's Story by Brett Blair. Illustrated by James Koenig. That's me. Big Shot Slingshot. They call it a toy. A rock in the pocket. Big heart in the boy. I'll tell this story of kings and giants and war. But first get up, you better shut the door. Mothers don't like these kinds of tales when war is described in such gory details. There's David's slingshot and some rocks. The boy's name is David. He keeps the sheep. For his father Jesse, seven days a week, younger and weaker with eight brothers all. You get tired of hearing, you are too small. The trouble started when Saul went to war, and David was told, stick to your chores. There's David's brother, and there's David. He's telling him, you gotta stay here and watch the sheep. Down in the valley, war drums rumbled. Swords were sheathed and buckles buckled. The Israelites faced the Philistines. Two camps, two hills, a valley between. When out of the camp walked a giant, a terrifying, troubling, towering tyrant. Three meters tall, or nine foot nine, Goliath marched to the border line. Uh oh there's Goliath. Look how big he is. His giant armor on his giant chest. A giant shield with a giant crest. His giant spear on his giant back. And grease fixed his, with giant tacks. Uh, his giant helmet on his giant head. A giant voice boom, boomed and said... Why don't you come out? Why don't you fight? What's wrong with Israel? Afraid of my height? I defy you to choose a man. Come out to me. Kill me if he can. The one standing at the end of the day will be the winner and the other a slave. Look at Goliath taunting them. He looks pretty angry. Saul's army grew silent and very scared. In the shadow of Goliath, not one of them dared. They look a bit afraid, don't they? And there's King Saul. What are they going to do? David was restless and wanted to fight. He begged and begged till his dad said, All right, you can go to the valley. Bring back a report. Take bread to your brothers. Give them support. There's David asking his dad if he can go. But take no shield. Take no sword. Take no armor. Take the Lord. Look at that sheep grabbing the grass. Late that night in David's room, candles made the shadows loom. Opening the chest at the foot of his bed, he packed the slingshot and the bread. There's the creator's toy chest, and he's getting his slingshot out and some bread for his brothers. Early next morning, he left his sheep, ran down the mountain, jagged and steep. You better be careful. That looks like he's up there pretty high. 
When he arrived, he heard the cry, an army song piercing the sky. We lift our sword and take our stand for the promise of God, this holy land. He gave the keeper all the supplies, and no one looked at all surprised when David ran to the battle line and joined his brothers just in time. There he is. Goliath stood as he did before, out in the open, and let out a roar. Why don't you come out? Why don't you fight? What's wrong with Israel? Afraid of my height? I'm waiting for you to choose a man. Where, your war where are your warriors? I think they all ran. Wow. David was mad. What can, what can be done? Why do you fear and why do you run? Who is Goliath? He is a tongue defiant, a boorish brute, a sag-bellied giant. So let me ask what the, the king will do for the one whose sword thrusts him through. The soldier said, you'll be rich forever. The king will open the kingdom's treasure. The king's daughter will be your wife. You'll be a hero the rest of your life. David's words were, were whispered to Saul, who summoned him to the royal hall. Young man, said Saul, you cannot fight. He'll break your bones with all his might. King Saul doesn't think he can do it. King Saul, it's true, I am a boy, but I'm not one to play with toys. I've killed lions and even bear. My sheep are safe within my care. This Philistine will be like them. I'll tear this giant limb from limb. There's him telling the story of how he fought a lion to save the sheep. He's pretty brave. David, said Saul, the Lord be with you. Today you fight for all the Jews. Take my sword and take my shield and join my soldiers on the field. There's the shield. He tried them on, but they did not fit. I'll use my slingshot, said David, and that is it. Look, the armor's too big for him. He decides he's not going to use it. He left the king, found a babbling brook, and from that stream five stones he took. Can you see the five stones that he took? One, two, three, four, five. Look, there's Goliath coming towards him. Staff in hand and shepherd's bag, he approached the giant who liked to brag. Am I a dog? You come at me with sticks? And what's that bag? Are you hiding tricks? You are nothing, just a little boy. Will you fight me with your toy? Look, there's the bag where he has all his rocks. Uh -oh. Goliath laughed and roared, and David took two steps toward. He said to the giant, I see your sword. I come at you in the name of the Lord. You might be big and very tall, of all these soldiers, I am small, but God doesn't look at things like this. I have my stones. I will not miss. He's not letting Goliath scare him. Goliath moved closer to attack. David reached in his shepherd's sack, loaded a stone, and slung it round and round. The armies heard a thudding sound. Look, he's swinging his slingshot, going to throw that rock at Goliath. Look, 
The rock sank right between the eyes, and on his face a big surprise, for now he knew size has no worth. He staggered and fell upon the earth. Standing over this colossal man, David reached with just one hand, slowly unsheathed the giant sword, and with a mighty swing cut off his gourd. When the Philistines saw their hero dead, in fear they turned away and fled. Look, there's the rock that hit him in the forehead. David standing triumphant there with Goliath's sword. And Goliath's army ran away. David was brought before the king, and in one hand he held the sling. In the other, the gruesome eyes and that same dead look of surprise. A giant's head I bring to you, and now you know what God can do. There's David coming to tell Saul that he killed the giant. The king arose and laid his hand, said to David, I understand. It's not the strong today who won, but a big shot from the slingshot of a shepherd's son. The end. I hope you like this book. If you did like it, you can order it on Amazon. Just search for Creator's Toy Chest. Um, and if you like my illustrations, you can see more of my artwork at FreelanceFridge.com. I'll have links below in the YouTube video description. Thanks for watching.